Welcome to IT Boost YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show how to make a design wall using a casework. So first I will uh, click on the wall tool. Right, so I will take the default wall that is says basic wall generic 8 inch and simply I will draw a wall here. Yeah. Right, 100 feet wall. And I will select the wall and I will give the wall height around 12 feet. Right, the drawing units you can go with anything. In I am going with imperial, so that is 12, uh, 12 feet. I am giving the wall height 12 feet. Right. So now I am going to select. Uh, I am going to select the wall. So when you select the wall, here you have edit profile. Click on edit profile. So in order to edit the sketch please open the following views where the sketch will be parallel to the screen so this message will come automatically so you can select north or south so i'll select the north elevation and open view so it will take you automatically to the uh, north elevation right now what i do i will select a polygon tool and here I'll make sure number of sites six, right? So from the midpoint, uh, if I want to uh, find out the center line, here this is the midpoint. I'll take the center line, so that will be. Weird. I just draw a line, and after that I'll select the polygon, and I'll draw the midpoint. So. So I'll draw a polygon, something like that, and I will delete this uh, middle line. Now click OK. Now you can uh, you can go to the 3D view. You can go to view here default 3D view. Right. So if you want, you can see realistic form also. Right. So here. In the edge, in the edge of this uh, polygon, uh, we'll put a small part. So what I do, I will go to component, model in place. Here I will select casework. Right in the model in place, select the family category as casework, and press OK, and you can give a name for that one, I will say casework1 and I will press OK. Now you have to sketch the plane, you have to define the plane, normally the plane is in the label. So, so to set the plane, click set work plane and here we can pick the plane, click pick plane and OK and select this wall, that is the plane, right? Yeah, select this wall, right. Now the plane has been set to this wall. If you want to check the plane here, click show. You can see it's the plane is there. Right. Now I'll go to extrusion. I'll click extrusion. So I'll give the extrusion depth around uh, one inch. One inch will be enough. Right. And I'll select the pick line. And I'll give the offset also uh, one inch. And here, click here. If you want, we can give two inch. We will give the offset around three inch. We will give three inch. So I'll give three inch here. Pick line here. Carefully pick the line here. And here. Here. And here. Again, select the pick line. Make the offset zero. And pick that line. Now click finish. Uh, there's a problem. I think it's uh, here. Yeah, I didn't finish this one. Pick line that one also. Right. Now click finish. 
Now here you have a small niche, right, in your wide wall. Yeah, right. Now what you can do, if you want, you can uh, you can finish this model, right? So the other side, to the other side, we can mirror this one easily. So go to level one and select your model. Select your model. Click here this mirror draw axis. Click mirror draw axis, right? And here from the center point, we have already selected that one. And here uh, this midpoint. Right. Now it's mirrored other side also. Yeah. Now go to here both side. You have that edge. Go to 3D view. Yeah. So we have a nice uh, edge on the both side here. Yeah. Right. Now what we do, we'll make some design, some more design. So, uh, again, I'll go to component, modeling place. This time also I'll select case work and press OK. It's a case work three because we have one and copied a mirrored one. That is two. So it'll come case work three. OK and set the plane, click the plane, pick plane and OK and select this wall for the plane, right. Now what I do, um, I will make this one wireframe, so that is easy for me. So first I will draw a sketch line, uh, so here model line, to find out the center point, just so it's easy to find the center point, right. So it's end point. Now I will go to here this blend, solid blend. I'll click that solid blend. And from this edge, I will measure around uh, 8 feet. Right. And uh, here I will select, before that, I will select clips tool. Right. And from there, I will check uh, tracking around 8 feet. And uh, a two feet, uh, uh, yeah, or two feet, two feet will be fine. A click and give a small elliptical radius, okay. And here we will give the depth uh, one foot, yeah, we will keep it one foot. And we'll click, I'll click edit top, click edit top. Again, select the eclipse tool and take the same uh, center point, right. Okay, give our radius a little bit more. That one, two feet, uh, six inches. And a radius, uh, something like this, okay. So that also one foot and click finish. Right now you have something like this. Again I will go to white form. Here select white form. I'll select white extrusion. Right. So I will select this same eclipse and the depth I will give minus one foot. Minus one foot minus one foot and I will select the same point right around one I will take one foot three inches and I will give a small radius like this and click finish Right, here you can give minus one foot so it will get wider. I will uh, delete this line. I will delete this line. Uh, you can finish the model. Now I will select this one. I will take the copy tool. And uh, I, will, uh, I will select this corner point And to this angle. See the angle, if, I, if you difficult, we will go to wireframe to 
see I'll go to wireframe again I'll select copy from this corner point see the angle 135 uh, I'll paste it in six feet okay again select copy select this object and copy from this corner the angle 45 and 6 feet right now you can select those three with the control key and click copy Uh, from this edge around 16 feet that's enough right now we can mirror it if you want I'll select this uh, I'll select with the control key all the six right go to the level one the top view go to the level one and select mirror draw axis right so draw the axis uh, something from here to here right now here we have placed a nice design now you can make it here realistic if you want you can assign materials right you can assign materials right i will place a floor also so to place a floor i go to uh, level one and I will go to floor I will take a rectangle tool simply and I will draw a floor so I will take a line tool I will take a rectangle from the edge both side to get a floor both side a simple floor and click finish so simply using the casework we made a design wall whatever the design you can make it up so after that you can assign materials and you can uh, render you can add, add some more components and you can uh, render it i hope you enjoyed the video and learn how to make a design wall using caseworks if you didn't subscribe please subscribe us like us and give your feedback through the comments.